Hey guys! All right, folks, we're here today to check out a band that reached out to us on private message. It, it, they slid it into my DMs. Oh, that's what they did. They slid it into my DMs. Made you feel special? Yeah, they made me feel slightly special, slightly because they're not the only ones sliding into my DMs. So, anyways, the name of the band is Moira. That's a, that's a flex right there. It is. My DMs is packed. I get so many people sliding into my DMs that I don't even check my DMs anymore. Slip and slide, dude. It's 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 like a, a water slide. It's like a water park in Florida. Minus the accidents. I was going to say. Fuck, it's crazy. Ma minus the, the bad construction. And the accidents and the lawsuits. Yeah. Exactly. So the name of the song is Perception of... Is it Perception? Yeah, Perception of Souls. The name of the song is Moira. I need glasses. I have an appointment. Wait, I thought the name of the band was Moira. The name of the band is Moira. That's okay, yeah, so said. the name of the band is Moira. The, the name of the song is Perception of Souls. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> no, you said the name of the song is Moira. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I need glasses. That's what I'm going with. And I'm getting old. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Are those tulips? I think those are tulips. Or maybe roses that haven't opened yet? Fuck, now I'm wondering.
her and her baddies. All right, uh, what do you think? <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, it looks like you're swallowing a hole there. I don't know. It, you look I, like Fernand since at the World Cup. <laughs> you mean him every time I've seen oh, him? Oh, any time. Like. Never seen him smile, not even when we won the cup. I don't think he knows how to smile. I don't think so either. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to feel about the song. I, I enjoy those those heavier parts with the, the harsh vocals and everything. And then when they go to the other part, I feel like it's such a big step down vocal-wise because everything kind of drops down a bit, but the vocals drop down a shit ton when it comes to the the way the song is. But I still enjoyed it. It's just that it was kind of hard for me. Like, when, when it started with the harsh vocals, I'm like, oh, is this going to be harsh throughout? Maybe the switch of vocals would be more screaming. But then it, it switched to those cleaner vocals, which I also enjoyed, but it was just took me a bit to get into. Uh, for me, the, I have I, I enjoyed the track. I, I think her vocal range... <clears throat> sorry. I think her vocal range is really good. I enjoyed the track. I like what how she sounds like with the harsh vocals, but I really like how she sounds with the clean vocals, really? more than the harsh vocals. Um, but to me, the, the two issues that I have with this track are, are simple. I was not a huge fan of that more proggy technical. There's two moments where, where the bass is really popping through and even the guitars feel a little bit more on the technical side. They lose a little bit of the aggression and they, like, they lose the aggression that the track has during the heavier parts and they lose the melody that the track has during the more cleaner vocals, more driven side of the song. And they go into this kind of like proggy technical, as, but it, it doesn't really develop into to something and it doesn't really match what you're getting on the heavier side and it doesn't matter what you're getting on the melodic side. It's like a plug-in that was inserted there and is inserted twice almost as a bridge. But I felt it was so out of place with everything. Like, I wasn't a big fan musically of those two portions of the song. I, I, w I would have just done without. I agree. And, and, and I think this track would have worked a lot better because we get an example of it at the end. If the song had started out with the clean vocals... And then you bring in the harsh I think, vocals. I think that would have worked better. That would have worked way better than starting off with the harsh vocals. Because you, you start up up here, and then you, you have this huge drop. In my opinion, you start down here, and you go up. You go up, because yeah. Because that's why it was hard for me to get fully in. Because uh, it was such it was such a drop down from my expectations after the first part of that song that it took me a bit to get back into it. But her vocals are very smooth. Her, her clean vocals are silky. Oh, yeah. So very I, good. So they, it was it was nice for me to get back into it, but that part put me off a bit. And then there was that the part. You but were if you see about. towards the end, when she goes from the clean vocals and then she goes with that, uh, let's go or whatever, whatever, like you know, uh, let's get all the boys in the yard here going, you know, like more leather is better. Damn right. Uh, you know, so when when he got to that, if that sequence there was absolutely perfect. But they should have started off the song. But it, that's kind of how the song should have started off with the I clean vocals, should, yeah, and then bring in the harsh vocals just as a spice. And then bring them back down again, back to the clean vocals, and then finish off strong with with the track the way it ended. Uh, because the first, the first, if you look at the song as as thirds, there's th three parts. The first part is very similar to the second part. Both of them even have a guitar solo at the end of each each, each of the parts. So they become a little bit repetitive and redundant one towards the other. But then that ending is really cool because you go through those clean vocals. And then she kind of, you almost have like the sense of a breakdown, but it's not really a breakdown and she changes into the harsh vocals. It works really well. So that last third works extremely well. I just don't think that the two opening slots, the two opening thirds should be so equal to one another. Like maybe have the guitar solo in the second one, but not have the guitar solo at the end of the first one. Because they really become a photocopy of one another. And I, 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 outside of those two more progressive technical sides, the, that to me is is it prolonged the song and I don't think the song needed to be prolonged. The song could have been a little bit more compact. You take that first solo out uh, or make that first solo a little bit shorter, something. But I still feel like starting off with cleans and then moving into harsh, cleans, moving into harsh, then cleans and then finishing off the way it did, it would have been a much better transition vocally for the song. Yeah. And I don't think you needed those two technical I agree with you. touches there. I was going to say I agree with you. The whole technical thing uh, was not needed. And, um, yeah, other than that, um, I enjoyed the song. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. it too. And I, I think she has a great voice. I enjoyed her harsh vocals because of how 
different harsh vocals that we normally It wasn't get. really screaming. It was almost a little bit deeper. It was a deeper... And it reminded me of a band that I cannot name right now that we've done on the channel. But if I, that should be a name of a band. What? The band that I cannot name right now. No, no, no. I'm going to show you... That would be a great doom metal band. It was something Venom. I can't remember... The Venom name. Prison. Venom Prison. There you go. That's what it reminded me of. It, it had those same kind of style where they weren't screaming, but they felt like they were coming from the back of the throat. It, it, it had that... From the esophagus. Yeah. Like it... it, it, it they didn't feel like normal harsh vocals you normally get. That's what it reminded me of. That's why I liked them. I, I um, like them too, but I thought the clean vocals were so cool, so melodic, but so her warm. Her clean vocals were were nice and silky. They were yeah. they were very just, you know, they had they had a maturity and silkiness to them. So I I enjoyed them. But I and think, that transition but works better when you go from the around. cleans to the harsh. Yeah. Versus but the other I think way I enjoy the harsh vocals more because we don't I don't hear those types. As much. As a female vocalist, you don't hear those as Normally often. Normally you hear the deeper ones, or you'll hear more of the screaming Either ones. you hear really deep, deep ones, or you hear the more just straight up screaming. But those ones remind me of Venom Prison, that's why. Yeah, nice touch. Nice. I, I can see that. All right, well, uh, this wasn't a dud. Considering that they slide into the DMs, ask us to check out the video. Sometimes you get some serious duds. This one is not one of them. I mean, there is some work that needs to be done, but they got the tools, man. They got the tools. All right, thank you for watching this video. Let There's us know your music. thoughts. They also know how to make an appealing music video. Yeah, but dude, the music video doesn't have to be complicated. No. Just throw a ladder at it, get some baddies, boom, you're done. Feel bad for all the other band members. No leather? I don't think I want to see leather in the other guys. No, no, I just feel bad for them. Fifty Shades of Grey, I just want to see the lead singer oh, going I'll, off I'll Fifty also, Shades of Grey. I'll also say, I'm always a, a, a um, someone who enjoys myself, the, the drums that are or have shit on them, so when you hit them, it bounces off. And you catch it in slow motion? Yeah. Dust, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of that, though. That was more than dust, man. That was like 10 years worth of dust. Exactly. I'm more of the water guy. Like, if you have water on the on the drums and you're playing the water, oh, that's perfect. Like, getting the water droplets to come up. Uh, that's a cool aesthetic, and I like that shit. The dust just, to me, it feels annoying. Because then you're like, I gotta go clean up that drum after. You, you're, you're, um, what do you call it? Uh, OCD kicks in. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean you gotta go clean it? You have a room that's like a pigsty, and you don't clean your room. What are you talking about? How come that about? doesn't that doesn't trigger you to go clean it? The drums on this guy's video would trigger. I don't have dust in my room, do I? No. It's kind of hard to see the dust if if everything. Exactly. Is over. Therefore, there's no dust. <laughs> you have a layer of shit all over the place. If you don't see the uh, dust. The dust accumulates on the layer of shit, not on anything see. else. Uh, no. The thing is, I don't have dust in my room. Yeah, I have a bunch of water bottles, but I don't have dust in my room. <sighs> Whenever some, I see the dust, I clean it. And some dirty socks. All right, guys, hit us up in the comment section. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.